Hey, it's JP with Retronyms, and welcome back to IMPC Prolog. This is where we take a look at the latest features in development for IMPC Pro. Uh, today, I'm happy to announce a new update to IMPC Pro. This is a free update, uh, IMPC Pro version 1.5. Uh, this update focuses on bug fixes, uh, stability improvements, and performance improvements. So if you've been seeing issues, especially since iOS 9, uh, this aims to resolve a lot of those and really have an app that's uh, much better performer and uh, uh, stable. So on top of that, we've been working hard with our friends at Akai Pro to add some new features and feature improvements across the board. Um, I'm going to keep it short today and kind of give a quick overview of everything and then I'll follow up with a video that goes in depth on a couple of these uh, later. So. Uh, first thing, um, if you've been using IMPC Pro, you know that like ever since release, you could connect uh, MIDI controllers to IMPC Pro. Uh, the support for that focused on some Akai controllers, MPC Element, MPC Fly, that kind of thing. Uh, we did publish the MIDI map, so you could program your controller to uh, work with IMPC Pro, and you can still do that. But we've also added MIDI Learn, which is really a convenience feature that allows you to map up uh, your controller a lot easier. Uh, if we take a look at the mixer here, you can MIDI learn all these all these controls here. Uh, I'll go kind of more in depth on that, but that should be a, an improvement, make things easier to map up. Um, we've also added a new feature in the editor side of things. So, if we take a look at a sound here, if you've been using a uh, slice loop mode. Um, you'll see a new feature here. Basically, if I go to slice loop, um, there's a new control over here. So the grid mode is sort of the normal mode you're used to where you can add gridded out transient markers. If you switch to auto, it will automatically detect all the transients. So this is going to work a lot better with certain types of loops. And you have a new control here for threshold, which adjusts the sensitivity of the uh, transient detection. Um, and of course, you can still go in and manually tweak the transient markers if you want. But just out of the box with auto detection, so now I have a sliced loop. I hit done. So we have uh, improvements to MPC desktop support. Uh, sorry, MPC desktop export. Um, if you haven't used that, it's a real easy way to export your project uh, with all your programs and sounds, parameters, everything from uh, IMC Pro to MPC Desktop and continue the project there. Um, we shipped that in the last version. This version it continues to improve that feature. Uh, the one specific uh, example are slice loops here will automatically export as patched phrases now. Uh, so everything just kind of works better across the board with that feature. Um, we've also added uh, the latest version of the Ableton Link SDK. If you haven't used this, it allows you to synchronize multiple iPads, multiple apps, and even sync tempo to uh, desktop software, uh, for example, Ableton Live. Um, SDK-wise, we are also running the latest version of the Audio Copy SDK. The main improvement there is a workflow change where you will no longer have to tap a notification when copying a sound. Uh, one bonus feature is we've added a new pad effect. Uh, so in addition to the normal um, St. Louis Drive distortion and the ring mod, on per pad basis you can now add a bit crusher. Uh, so this just gives you more options to add some hair and fuzz to your sound. So the classic Bit Crusher, basically just digital distortion to downsample the sound uh, in real time here, and you know you can really add some crunch and fuzz to your stuff. Basically, just gives you some more options to add texture and uh, uh, depth to your overall sound palette. So, uh, and again, IMC Pro 1.5, it should be in review with Apple in the coming week here, um, and. In regards to this update, again, it's a real focus on uh, stability and performance. And to that end, we've done something new that I'm really excited to talk about. Uh, we added a uh, public beta program. 
So thanks to everyone who's participated in that with 1.5. We've got a lot of great feedback. Thank you for that. Uh, please keep it coming. If anyone else wants to be part of the public beta uh, pre-release version of IMPC Pro, uh, please let us know. We'd love to get you involved. Um, you know, the idea is we want people who want to run the, the new stuff that isn't out yet and give us feedback on it, tell us about any issues they're having. Um, again, IMC Pro 1.5 is coming out pretty soon, so there may still be time to get your hands on that and be a part of that beta, um, but uh, even moving forward to future IMC Pro updates, we'd love to hear from you. So please contact us at support at retronyms.com if you want to be in the beta, and there's a kind of painless uh, application process for that. Like I said, I'll have some more in-depth videos coming on some of these features, so look for that. Make sure to subscribe to Akai Pro and Retronyms here on YouTube to see those when they come out, and um, look for IMPC Pro 1.5 to drop in the App Store soon. Thanks a lot. Thank you.